Hey guys, welcome back to the Miniman Moment. Today, we're joined by a special guest. So get ready as we're gonna talk about all the great things coming up in Congress this year and what you can look forward to. To start things off, I wanna give a little bit of context. We're gonna be looking at the Republican Study Committee's proposed funding priorities for this year. The Republican Study Committee is a group of conservative representatives in Congress pushing to support conservative causes and challenge the status quo. They also believe in that more government is the problem, not the solution, and that more Americans should live their lives freely. In their proposed funding bill, they have an entire section dedicated to protecting the Second Amendment and exactly how they want to do that. And that's exactly where my surprise guest is coming to give his expert advice on all of them. For the first time, let's welcome ATF agent Sen Banderson onto the Minuteman Moment. Sen, any opening remarks? Hey everyone, yes it's me Sen, but the ATF asked me to come out and do some public outreach, so I'll start off with this. I have an absolute national emergency of the highest importance my job security. Thanks to you and the team over at GOA, Ben, the agency has had to make some budget cuts. You're targeting all of the good work we're doing over at the ATF. Whether it's making sure that we have over a billion gun registration records so that less than 50% of the law enforcement agencies in this country can use them, or trying to make 40 million new illegal short barrel rifles. Well, it almost seems like it's getting worse. Not only did we lose all of your sweet, sweet taxpayer dollars, but we also had to get off our butts and start to approve tax stamps in a reasonable amount of time. I wish it was like the good old days where I could do one, sit down for lunch, blame an intensive background check program, and then head home for the night. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Sen, but number one, the NFA is unconstitutional. And two, should you have really been intentionally slow rolling the approval process while also getting paid from the taxpayer's dollars? Well, Ben, haven't you ever heard of if it's good enough for government work? But that's not all. The Republican Study Committee proposal will make my job even harder. Here are just some of the crazy ideas they want to implement. Yeah, why don't I list off a few of the examples and you can give me your opinion on them, Sen. Let's start off with Andrew Clyde of Georgia's Short Act. Oh man, this would end the Biden pistol brace ban, remove SBRs, SBSs, and AOWs from the NFA. That's like my entire job now is approving NFA paperwork. I don't want to go after real criminals at the border or against gangs. Wow, almost sounds like Representative Clyde's bill would make your job irrelevant. Almost seems like another benefit to passing it. And that's on top of preventing you and your organization from threatening to make millions of Americans into felons for owning a piece of plastic. Watch yourself, Sanderson, because we sure have been watching you. Okay, Sen, no need to get too upset. Just a friendly debate. Let's move on to the next bill. Representative Michael Cloud of Texas's No Registry Rights Act. This would ensure that all of my sweet, sweet records of your guns would get destroyed. You know, I'll let you in on a little secret. Sometimes, when the boss isn't watching, I'll put a couple thousand 4473s on the ground and just roll around in all of the unconstitutional record collection I can. Oh, so you're admitting to the billions of records you have are in fact a gun registry that you keep? Seems pretty funny you guys have been always denying it despite the documents we got from you. Uh, uh, I mean, no comment. Let's move on to the next thing. This one's really gonna ruffle your feathers then, Sen. What do you think about Representative Paul Gosar of Arizona's Gun Owner Registration Information Protection Act, or the GRIP Act? It's terrible, Ben. It would prevent states and local governments from using federal funds to store gun information because guys, I gotta have a backup in case the main supply of records gets destroyed. Yeah, I've seen some of this stuff California, New Jersey, and any other one of these anti-gun states are pulling. I definitely don't trust Gavin Newsom to be respectful of the Second Amendment just because he's not a federal employee. Oh, here's another one from Representative Cloud. That would be his Protecting the Right to Keep and Bear Arms Act. Ben. This would stop me from teaming up with my buddies over the Department of Health and Human Services and declaring a public health emergency and taking your guns. Now I've got a buddy over there named Zen who's been itching to go after gun owners ever since he got transferred out of the ATF after shooting an extremely dangerous and charging chihuahua. Wow, Zen and Sen trying to weaponize the emergency protocol so they can come after you for a constitutional right. Seems like you can't go through the normal process, so they gotta play dirty. Okay, well this one isn't so much about stopping your gun control, Sen, but actually about giving more gun rights back to the people. What about Representative Richard Hudson of North Carolina's Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act, huh, Sen? Ugh, I absolutely hate when people are responsible for themselves. You don't need a firearm to protect yourself. At ATF, we're here to protect and serve you. Don't they know that Big Brother is just here to help? Just look at our public safety record, but don't look up Ruby Ridge or Waco, or Operation Fast and Furious. You know what, Never mind. Just don't look up anything and trust me, I'm from the government. Now guys, you 100% should look up on all of those issues. But also with the Bruin decision, the Supreme Court has reaffirmed the right to carry a firearm. 
We know how dangerous the past few years of COVID lockdowns were, especially when the government just left you out to die while simultaneously trying to stop you from defending yourself. Speaking of the government unnecessarily restricting your rights, how about Representative Jeff Duncan of South Carolina's HPA and Representative Bob Good of Virginia's Shush Act? Guys, guys, we can't deregulate suppressors. Then every Tom, Dick, and Harry could walk around with guns that are so quiet, people five feet from them wouldn't be able to hear it. Just like the movies. Sen, come on. We know that's a flat out lie, especially now that NFA e-forms are getting through way faster. The argument for common use, plus the fact that the NFA is an infringement on your rights, it's just common sense to deregulate them. Now that would only open the floodgates against the NFA. Now what I don't want you to do is call your member of Congress and tell them you support the RSE's fiscal year 2025 budget proposal. This would be catastrophic to my job security. Oh, uh, and public safety or whatever our line is now. Just listen how upset Sen is about all of this. That's exactly why you should be calling your senators and representative at 202-224-3121 and tell them to support the Republican Study Committee's budget proposal. Anyways, I think that's about all the time we have to make Sen squirm in his chair. Any final statements, Sen? Oh, yeah, 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 final thing. If one of you could subscribe and follow GOA's YouTube and social media, I heard they're bringing someone back, but I need a mole on the inside to update me on the latest. Don't worry, Sen, you'll find out soon enough. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest fights for your rights.